So the June 2024 Nintendo Direct is gone and over with. And there was some good announcements there. I'm a little bit disappointed that that bet I did for the, my predictions video yesterday did not pan out. Where if we got any news about a new Xeno related thing like Xenoblade X, Xenoblade Warriors, all that stuff. If we saw one of those things, I would have had to do a sleep stream. But none of that happened. So that's disappointing. But the rest of the Direct was really good. And I want to talk about all the announcements in my opinion on it because yeah even though i didn't get what i wanted xenoblade or xeno anything it was still a really really damn good direct so yeah let's just get right into it i do have my tablet here going over to all the announcements so starting up from the top we have mario and luigi brothership coming out november 7th 2024 and yeah this game is really really it looks good I, I'm gonna be honest, the art style, like, I like I like how the art style looks, but I don't really like the, like, cell shading thing going on. It reminds me of the Kirby's Return to Dreamland, uh, remake, remaster, whatever, where it has, like, that weird style, which I don't really like, personally. But the art style in itself is actually really good, and I'm surprised we're getting another Mario & Luigi game. Like, that's really cool. I... I I did think the series would continue. I wonder who was making the uh, this new game, but um, like I still thought it was gonna be a while before we would see another Mario Luigi game. But I'm glad we're finally getting it, and it's coming out very soon this year. So yeah, um, we also got some more news on Nintendo World Championships NES Edition, uh, which I will be probably be able to pick up uh, when it comes out on July 18th. So uh, yeah, I'll be. Probably be able to cover it on the channel, but yeah, it looks interesting. But they just showed off more stuff about it. Uh, they revealed Fairy Tale 2 coming out winter 2024. Um, the game looked fine, I guess. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going over all the announcements uh, from the Nintendo Life uh, .com website. Uh, you know, so I, I might not have much to say on some of these announcements, so I apologize. But anyway, uh, next up we got Phantasm, Neo Dimension. I don't know how you pronounce uh, this game, um, but this was an Apple Arcade game that was stuck on there for like... I don't know, a few years, and then it was like rumored that it would be coming to Switch and other platforms within like a few months ago. Uh, so it's nice to see this game finally get out of the chains of uh, Apple Arcade and be released, you know, on more platforms so that more people can access it without a subscription service. That's really cool. Um, this is a big surprise for me, and honestly, it might be my favorite announcement. Uh, and that being Nintendo Switch Sports is getting a new update, the basketball update, coming summer of 2024. I'm thinking it might come out around August, September time, but it could, could come out July. Um, but yeah, this is a big surprise because I, I really do like Switch Sports. I think it gets a little bit too much hate, in my opinion. Um, there were rumors, although they came from Midori, which Midori was... Mm. Um, yeah, anyway, um, there were rumors that they were working on a new Switch Sports game, but I guess those rumors turned out to be kind of wrong, but at the same time, kind of right in that we are getting new content for Switch Sports, which is really cool. I'm really excited for it. This gives me hope that we'll see something like, um, boxing, you know, uh, or maybe ba uh, baseball, we could see some new sports besides basketball. And it's crazy that it's happening like two years bef after the game is like done, you know, like and like a, a year after the last update, which was the golf thing. Like, I'm really happy about that. Uh, so, yeah, this is honestly might be my biggest surprise of the direct. So uh, after that, we got Mio Memories in Orbit, the new Xenoblade game. Oh, my God. Now I actually do have to do the sleep stream. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, it just has the same name as, uh, as Mio from Xenoblade 3, but this game does look cool. It, it looks like a Metroidvania style game. Um, it, it kind of gave me vibes, besides the name, it kind of gave me vibes of something like Ori or, like, Silk Song, you know, uh, and, like, before that, even before that, it gave me vibes of, like, Cocoon, Inside, Limbo, um, but, yeah, this game looks interesting, um, I just find it funny, the name, <laughs> the name, Mio, why would you do this to me? Anyway, um, after that, we got Disney Illusion Island, we got a new update 
mystery and monolith update is that what it's called i don't know um after that we got looney tunes wacky world of sports uh with when this trailer played i just kept thinking of the space jam song like come on and slam C come on and slam the 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 looney tunes uh game comes out in fall 2024 and i think i didn't mention this the disney illusion island update comes out today so among Us, uh, is an update came out today, which was leaked ahead of time because that's how we found out about the direct state in the first place. Uh, we got Farm Agia, Farm Agia. Uh, that's the next game that was announced, November first, twenty twenty four. This is like a farming game, but like you're also doing something with monsters. It looked kind of interesting. Um, but now another big one. Well. I, I say big in like quotes, but uh, we got an announcement for Donkey Kong Country Returns HD uh, coming out January 16th, 2025. And uh, yeah, this game, I, it makes me wonder, like, I think this is a nice announcement, don't get me wrong. One, why is it coming out in January? And two, why is there no new Donkey Kong game? Like, where is Donkey Kong? Like, it's been so long since we've had Donkey Kong Country Returns, you know? That was the Returns. Uh, we're we're going to have to have a Donkey Kong Country Returns Returns at some point, right? Uh, like, I don't know where is Donkey Kong, you know? He just keeps getting, like, these uh, remakes, remasters, or ports, or whatever, you know? Like, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I want a new game. Um... But, you know, this is at least nice, you know, uh, the HD game um, remaster or whatever. It includes the 3DS levels, so that's neat. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I'm I just wondering where is a new Donkey Kong game? That was rumored about many years ago, and I don't know. Is this what it turned into? Yeah, totally. Anyway, um, after that, we got an announcement for Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Well... It was announced the release day. We knew about this already. It comes out November 14th, 2024. Um, along with that, at the very end, we got uh, new announcements of Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D Remake coming out in 2025. I wish they would have put them all together into one collection. Like, I, I feel like that would have been the way to go. It feels weird. I know 3 is a prequel or whatever, and they even said that in the thing to play it like 3, 1, 2, but still, I would would rather have all of them come out at the same time and be like a collection of sorts so whatever um after that we got funko fusion coming out september 13th 2024 this game looks both good and stupid and bad at this like all three at the same time like it kind of looks funny um like it kind of looks interesting too but it also didn't look like it ran the best um but it is interesting about the multiple characters you know like having marty mcfly uh having freddy fazbear or uh having multiple characters there is uh <laughs> so it was interesting so um yeah i don't know um, after that, we got, uh, you know, a little teaser again for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, which is coming out June 27th. Uh, we got this game called The New Dempa Men, which looked like Tomodachi Life and um, Metopia at first. But no, this is apparently from a very, very neat series that I had no idea existed. It kind of looked like, they, again, it looked like Mies, this, this, uh game that they were using but no it comes out july 22nd uh so of this year um after that we got metal slug attack reloaded it's out now um darkest dungeon 2 out july 15th uh so oh and then now okay this is another big one we got nintendo switch online expansive pack updates we got we got Metroid Zero Missing, which is hype. I'm happy that's finally on, on the service, you know. I beat the game on my Wii U, but I didn't do the, like, extra content of Zero Suit Samus, so that's neat. We also got a link between... A Link to the Past, um, at Four Swords Adventures, or whatever, Four Swords. Like, the... You know, GBA version of A Link to the Past, but it includes the Four Swords thing, which is neat. Um, also, we got an, an announcement for the N64 17 Plus app, which uh, launched with a Perfect Dark and... Uh, 
and Turok, I, I think that's the name of the game. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm interested in it. Uh, I did do, I already played those games. Uh, I'm really happy with the Game Boy Advance games. The N64 games are kind of clunky. Perfect Dark, Dark was better, but Turok was like it controlled horribly on the Switch. So, I don't know. We'll see if they improve that or what. But it's this new app that came with the Switch Online. Um, it does give us potential to see something like Conquer's Bad Fur Day, which is really cool. Anyway, Phantom Brave The Lost Heroes, another game that was announced 2025. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics comes out 2024 or this year, um, which is interesting. Um, I believe Marvel vs. Capcom 2, it was like delisted like 10 years ago or something. So um, it's nice to see that brought back. This is another big one. Super Mario Party Jamboree comes out October 17th, 2024. This is, this game is, well, when I first saw it was a sequel to Super Mario Party, I'm, I was a little bit, not disappointed, I actually do like Super Mario Party, I think it gets a bad rap, but at the same time, I would rather play with a pro controller, and I, it's not confirmed if you can play with a pro controller, but anyway, um, I was just surprised we would get a sequel to, we would get a sequel to Super Mario Party. Um, but then they sold, it was kind of like mixing, uh, Mario Party Superstars, like, stuff into Super Mario Party as well, like, to combine it into a new game. So that's really cool, you know, they say this is the biggest Mario Party ever, and uh, it looked like it from the content. I mean, it has 110 mini games. it's a new record for the series. Uh, yeah, this game looks actually really cool. I'm, I'm decently excited for it. So, um, yeah. And then this is another big one. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This is a new Zelda game, new 2D Zelda game, where you're actually playing as Zelda. So, finally, The Legend of Zelda series makes sense with its title. <laughs> uh, I did see some people saying it was a missed opportunity to not title this game The Legend of Zelda The Missing Link. Oh my god, I wish they would have gone that. I mean, it would have made sense. But no, Echoes of Wisdom, fine, whatever. But at least we can finally play as Zelda. That's really, really cool. In fact, I think there was like a rumor about uh, a new 2D Zelda game or whatever. Like, where you actually play as Zelda. So, that's neat. Uh, yeah, really excited for that game. Oh, and it comes out um, on September 26, 2024. We're also getting a Switch Lite, which looks really cool for it. Uh, so, yeah. Next game was Just Dance uh, 2025. Uh, comes out October 2024. I always find it weird that these, like, yearly games don't come out on the year uh, of what it says. I don't know why they come out, like, before. I feel like they should come out the year of. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Um, we got, like, a basically an advertisement. Like, we didn't even get any new information. It was just, uh, like an ad for LEGO Horizons Horizon Adventures, which is holiday 2024, which is still surprising that that's coming to Switch. You know, it's a Sony game, albeit LEGO, but still. Stray, which is, I'm excited for this one to finally come to Switch. It was surprising that it wasn't on Switch already, but it's nice to see it here. It's coming out holiday of 2024. Uh... Tales of, Sh of Shire, a Lord of the Rings game, comes out winter 2024. We saw more of that. Uh, this was uh, a surprise, but it also was leaked early, so I don't know. Um, Ace Attorney Investigations Collection comes out September 6th uh, of this year. And yeah, it's nice to have, I think this completes basically all the Ace Attorney games. It's a Professor Layden crossover Ace Attorney game. But I think besides that one, I think we have all the Ace Attorney games available on modern consoles. At least on Switch. I think this game, actually don't know. This game might be announced for the other consoles. Ace Attorney Investigations, but at the very least, all the Ace Attorney games basically are on Switch, so that's neat, but probably in the other consoles too. Uh, next game we got was The 100 Line Last Defense Academy, which is basically a Denkenrapa game. It's made by the same people. It's basically a Denkenrapa game, but with more focus on like gameplay and combat, I, from what I can tell, because it's still about students and it's about like being in an, like in an area, you know, there's like a mascot guy, you know. So it's basically like a Dank and Rampa game, but um, I don't know why they didn't just call it that because it's very, very similar to Dank and Rampa. Um, but whatever, you know. Comes out 2025. Uh, 
Another game we had is Romancing Saga. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Two Revenge of the Seven it comes out October 24th, 2024. And then last but not least, we got the first first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond coming out 2025. And this game does look good. It does look good. When I first saw the game in its reveal trailer, I'm gonna be honest guys, it kind of felt underwhelming. It kind of felt like it looked good. The game did look good. But at the same time, the trailer felt kind of underwhelming. Like, okay, that's it. We've been waiting for like seven years for that game and that's it. Like, like I don't know, but I've kind of come around to it a little bit more. Uh, looking at it a bit more, I realized that it is really cool looking. Um, you know, I still kind of feel it was a little bit underwhelming, but at the same time, maybe that's because it was a teaser, you know, we'll see more of this game, you know, throughout the year, you know, so I'm sure, we'll, you know, it will look better and better and better, and, uh, yeah, so, but it's nice that we finally got some gameplay and a subtitle, that's really cool, um, but yeah, that's, that's it for the Nintendo Direct, all of the announcements. And I gotta say, this was a really, really good Direct. I am happy with it. Again, there was no Xeno-related stuff. No Xenoblade X, Rip. No Xenogears, no Xeno Saga, you know. I'm disappointed. Not even a, a new Warriors game. I would've thought we would've gotten a new Warriors game. Uh, because it's like been two years since the last one. But nope. So we can't do the sleep stream. <laughs> that was a bet we had for the predictions video yesterday. But I'm still really happy with the direct. We got a lot of good announcements. And a lot of people, like especially Piro, with um uh Piro's apparently in some hot water right now too, because uh Piro, the bird guy on Twitter, uh he said to not expect much first party stuff and we got like six eight first party announcements here like some of it was free dlc for like switch sports or whatever but some of it was also brand new titles and uh yeah he also did say that there will be a a remake of a 2d zelda game um though he did say to take it with a grain of salt um but that was like wrong because it was a, a brand new 2d zelda game so, uh, yeah, and he was a bit salty when people were rightfully complaining about him, like, like, what are you doing here? And he got, like, kind of salty about it, so it's interesting what's going on with the leakers. But anyway, the point being, what I was trying to say is just the fact that, um, basically this Direct blew everyone's minds. People were expecting nothing much of this Direct, because most people are looking forward to the Switch 2 or whatever, you know, um, but this Direct shows that the Switch 1 still has some life in it. It still has some juice. It still has some meat in the bone, you know, and yeah, that's really exciting because I think because of this Direct, we are more guaranteed for the Switch to pass like 150 million and become the best selling console ever. Um, at least it's going to be closer to that, probably thanks to this Direct, at least in my opinion. But let me know what you think about it. Did you like the Direct? Did you thought it was meh? What game are you looking forward to the most? I'm really looking forward to the Zelda game, the Mario Party game. Switch Sports is another one I'm really looking forward to the update. Mario and Luigi and Metroid Prime do look good. So yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. But but I'll see you all next time for another video. Like, subscribe, play some Xenoblade, and I'll catch you guys next time for more. Peace, bye everyone.